banned Fulani vigilante group now, Huriwa tells Tinubu. Hmm. This one that who, the Fulani have gone ahead to <coughs> form uniform security vigilantes in Abuja uh, just very before of the federal government. Uh, and they are not doing anything about it. What is going to happen to the uh, uh, the other ones that have been formed by other regions? Because it's either you disband this and let the military do their job, <coughs> or you allow every state to have its own vigilante group. Okay, you are clean ESN. Um, you are allowing uh, Fulani to fight uh, Amoteku in the southwest. Okay, meanwhile the Hizba group in the Kano and the Kaduna are still there causing problem in the north. <coughs> So now, how do you, these Fulani that are claiming to own Nigeria and are causing menace everywhere in the country, you are now legalizing them to carry arms and to begin to do nefarious activities. Why will um, um, Fulani vigilante take over the play, the work of NSC, DC, and the police, and the DSS, <coughs> and the military? Where is defense headquarters? What are they doing? This is not a good one, I must tell you the truth. Sensing subterranean motives. <coughs> sensing subterranean motives to cause uprising, invade farming communities, and capture lands of natives for grazing. Human Rights Writers of Nigeria, Huriwa, has asked President Bola Metinubu to disband the normal volunteer. A vigilante group launched in Nasarawa State. Hmm. Okay, this is Nasarawa State, not even Abuja. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Hmm. So this vigilante group established by Mie Tiala, according to Huriwa, is an attempt to usurp the functions of the Nigerian police force, which continually is the only legal policing institution in the country. In a statement yesterday, Huriwa said it was unconstitutional that military commanders and top police, police officers attended the public inauguration of the group by Mieti Ala Kauta Hall, thereby giving it official uh, imprimatur. Oh boy. So it noted that immediate past President Muhammad Ubari unleashed the full weight of armed military forces drawn from Medugri in Boronu State to crush a similar volunteer group set up by the indigenous people of Biafra. Yes. So till date, it added over 500 Igbo youths have been killed by the military in their short case, short chase of Eastern Security Network ESN. So who do I recall that the Mieti Allah Kata Hall a Fulani social cultural organization launched the Nomad Volunteer Vigilante Group in Wednesday, on Wednesday, comprising 1,144 carefully selected, screened, and profiled individuals. Oh boy. So the rights group said the in initiators of the vigilante, which it suspects may be armed and dangerous, even as those weapons might have been concealed from public view. National President of Mieti Allah, Abdullahi Badejo, emphasized that the, vigilant, the volunteer vigilantes will strictly adhere to the country's existing laws during the operations. is a lie. So during the inauguration in Lafayette, Badejo urged the volunteer vigilantes to work in collaboration with the army, police, and other security agencies to ensure a more comprehensive approach to security across 13 local governments of Nasarawa State. So Huriwa said it is illegal and unconstitutional for headers to set up a vigilante, whereas farmers, traders, teachers, clerics in Nasarawa do not have similar privilege backed by the section of the armed forces uh, present at the inauguration of the Fulani headers vigilante. So it therefore called on Tinubu to disband the Fulani vigilante, else all ethnic nationalities would henceforth set up their vigilantes, adding that since the army and police fully supported Mieti Allah in the establishment of private security outfit, which is just an ethnic army, then the federal government can't stop the proliferation of ethnic armies all over the country. That is it, though. It is an ethnic army in Nasarawa state. It is an ethnic army, I tell you the truth. 
it is an ethnic army and it's very disappointing to see that the leadership of nigerian police force and the armed forces the military okay attended and graced the occasion isn't that terrible Meanwhile, it didn't, didn't allow Eastern Security uh, Network, ESN, to operate in the Southeast. You were killing them, calling them IPOP. Eh? Why? Why would you? In fact, I think what Tinubu is saying is the right thing. It's either Tinubu disbands them or let every ethnic group in Nigeria form its own militia to protect itself. In fact, let Tinubu, if we did the Fed, approve state police and let every state be responsible for its own security system. Yeah? Because these these Northerners and these Fulanese are trying to prove that they own Nigeria. And that is not true. That is not true. So this is a very bad situation that we are seeing now that is playing out. Because a group like that has form, been formed in Abuja and uh, nothing has happened up to now. Nothing has happened up to now. This is bad. There are people that are reacting to this. As always say, these Fulani people have never in their entire existence come up with any suggestion that is progressive or that we develop each region of this country why always in the favor why hmm this is another group of hamas fully terrorist group in nigeria what is their aim to acquire land and kill people this is how hamas started something where are fully from are they nigerians that's a big question to answer. They wandered into Nigeria, actually, during the Usman Nafodio time. This is the onset of the establishment of a full and new occupation force in Nigeria, starting with Nasarawa State. It's a brazen preparation to invade communities' lands in Benue and Plateau State, which have been against open grazing and full and occupation of their lands by foreign headers. The Tinubu government is following the steps of Buhari to give them a full official backing and don't be surprised may have made piles of arms uh, available for them who will save nigeria from this coming holocaust in nigeria it's a very serious coming holocaust too very serious holocaust i tell you the truth you see this is a war that is going on between the north and the south this is a war this is a war between the muslims and the christians i see it like it's a religious thing is jihad they are just using different different means to initiate and propagate jihad in nigeria launching jihad in nigeria it's a very bad one and uh some is a flani vg a clandestine plan to invade the seat of power abuja asurok with ease as they set their camp in nasarawa state okay and in tawogun state with fct Kickstarting full and vigilante could be test run at the Caliphate state of Sokoto, Kasina, Kano, or Boronu, while in Middle Belt. Nasarawa is not a full and state like the aforementioned states above. Nasarawa belongs to Mada, Egon, Beriberi, Alago, and Gondara, not even Hausa nor Fulanese. We are alert. We shall go for self help. Okay, self-help self effort if the government fail to stop this Fulani coup on Nigeria. That is it. That is it. Oh. This band Amote confessed. Can you imagine? This is what uh, Kabiru Musa is saying now. This band Amote confessed. Then allow ESN to come up again. Let ESN start operating and let the military stop touching ESN so that ESN can protect the East. Huh. Yes. Now, another second army in the field. That is it. Another army protected by Nigerian security agencies who will invade any community for the interest of the Fulanese and kill and destroy uh, people and their, and their, and their farmlands. Eh? Oh boy. Kill and destroy is launched now and that is what it is. <laughs> Somebody say my concern is that whenever you start these types of agencies, there is no going back. They will carry out their hidden agenda and you cannot disarm them. Eh? It's very bad though. Full and is again. Anarchy is looming. And that is it. Anarchy is obviously looming. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment. Full and militia uh, officially launched by Nigerian Armed Forces in Nasarawa State. Hmm.